Hello artists, today you're going to learn how to warp a loom. You will have a cardboard loom, that's what this is, it's got notches at the top, I also made some little bumpers on it, and you're going to have a neutral color of yarn for your warp strands. Warp strands will be the strands that go vertically on your cardboard, and that's kind of what holds everything together for your weaving. Leave the yarn attached to the ball, that's why everybody in the room is going to have a ball of yarn. We're going to take the yarn and put a little, you know, put a short piece through the very end notch. So it just pops right through the notch right here. And then we need a small piece of tape to hold this down. And I'm going to lay the tape vertically and make sure it's stuck down really well. This is also where I am writing my name it's on that piece of tape. Okay, back to the front. I'm going to take the yarn, pull it down to the very first notch down here. So they're lined up. First notch on the top, first notch on the bottom. And you want to keep the tension so it's tight, but it's not so tight that your cardboard is bending in a lot, okay? It needs to flip back, kind of like a guitar string. Repeat, and if it's easier to not flip it around, then just look at the front, okay? I usually just look at the front. So I have five warp strands. They all flip back like a guitar. They're not too loose, not too tight. On the back, you can see the warp strands are a little angled. This is normal. This is what they should look like. Now we're gonna take this short piece and cut it. And we need the tape again. One more time, when you put the tape down, put it vertically. Make sure it's only going on this end piece and not sticking to any other piece of yarn. We're going to need all of them. Once I have approved your warping skills, then you need some yarn that is colored. For this, you're going to go to my yarn dispenser and the ball of yarn stays in the dispenser. You will need approximately one arm length of yarn, no more. So we don't want it to get all knotted. Okay, you're going to have some type of needle to work with, they're plastic. I have a couple different sizes of needles to work with. This eye is huge. The eye would be the hole of the needle. They both have an eye. That is where the yarn goes through. So you're going to take your yarn, but we're not gonna sit here and poke at it and hope it goes through. One way to get it through without the ends of your yarn fraying, because all yarn is actually multiple strands put together. If you just try to take the end and shove it through, especially on a small eye, it's going to fray and turn into a giant mess. We don't want that. One way to get it through, no spit is involved, please and thank you. You can take the end and kind of fold it over a little bit so it makes a loop, and then pinch it and Poke it through, and that works on the small eye as well. I'm gonna pinch that one tight, and poke it through. Another way is we use our magic hot dog bun. Magic hot dog buns are best for the smaller plastic needles, where you take this piece of paper, it's folded, it looks like a little hot dog bun. Your yarn is the hot dog. We lay it in the bun, Close it. Notice it's not sticking out the other end. Take the hot dog bun and put it through the eye of the needle. Ta-da! It's threaded. Now we don't want this to come undone. So I did a crisscross. It's where we have our little bunny rabbit. You remember our bunny rabbit from years past. Crisscross. Needle is dangling here. Take that short bunny ear. Smack the bunny in the face. Pull. And if we don't really need to tie twice, once usually does the job. Okay, now to start weaving. This particular weaving is going to become a pouch. That means we're gonna be weaving on two sides of this board, not just one. I'm gonna take the other end of your yarn, notice here's the needle. The other end of your yarn is going to go under your very first warp strand. And then just like we did with the bunny rabbit, crisscross. Smack it in the face with a short ear, pull, and slide it all the way down to the little cardboard notch. 